Right, oh, we've had to move tables to do. Who oh, sat behind us now? They, they were there. <laughs> God. So I've had to move. I stood up. I said, I wonder what they're drinking, but I couldn't see any drinks so. here. Visible. Not like when I was at the bar last night. Yeah. And I'm waiting ages, as usual, to be sad. Are these two girls? Well, no, maybe you want to come up. Four girls, really. Um, well, there, two of them, yeah, ordered pictures of cocktails, yeah. So the guy goes, How many glasses would you like? They're like, Yeah, we don't want glasses. We'll just have a couple of straws. <laughs> what? <laughs> I was mesmerised. It's like, Really? You're gonna sit there with an entire pit. I know there's reasonable here. You you're gonna sit there right. with an entire picture to yourself each. Sure. <laughs> 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 oh, I made my day. I don't mind the cocktail. The place I used to work, the amazing ones. I don't mind. I don't often have them. Um, no, I don't. But to the best of my knowledge, the better option. It's a Long Island iced tea because it's got the highest content of alcohol. It is. So that's my that's my little tip. But oh, please use a glass and drink responsibly. So anyway, we've moved. I'm with jazz. But anyway, we're walking along earlier, and as usual, we had quite an interesting conversation. Yeah. So we go past. Uh, a pet shop we once went in just for to go in really just to see what it was like I thought oh, it's never used to be a pet shop years ago it's been several shops and now it's a pet shop and I quite enjoyed the smell I was like oh isn't that a lovely smell of dry dog food but it was to me anyway I know I'm a bit weird um, and there's some like good dog stuff I was like where's all the pets <laughs> We get to the end, yeah, and there's these two lonely, like, two, this love, that's it, this is a pair of love, but that's it, no other pets. Pets up outside, no other pets. And I know they can't sell, like, look, well, look, like when, when I was in the 70s, it was like, you know, late 70s, early 80s, you could just rock up and buy a tortoise or a dog or a cat from a pet shop window. You can't do that no more, and for good reason, but uh, they had. The, Oh, yeah, well, no, you can't. I mean, where we used to live, there used to be one of these, what are they called, pets at home, super stores. And then one day, suddenly, it closed down. Um, I wasn't on Facebook at the time, but I know a girl who went to a group who was. And um, she rushed up there to rescue a rabbit, so she called it. This rescue missus. She's got this rabbit, like one of the house rabbits, yeah. And I, I, she doesn't remember, Jasmine doesn't, because she was only little, it's been gone years, empty unit now, unless it's going to fill that huge. Anyway, I used to go in there, because I quite, I've had a hamster, but I love hamsters, so I won't have one now. But um, I used to go in, just have a look at the animals and that, and take care of it, it's a bit to do, weren't it, passing, going to the shop. So, weren't it, I look at rabbits, guinea pigs, they sold all sorts there, yeah. So we go in, it's as it is. <laughs> so we're walking past him. She goes, Can I have pets? I said, No, we can't have a first of we can't have any pets. Secondly, why would you want to cage a bird? Which then I said, Do you remember? We're walking past that house. She asked me kids, oh, she's so observant. I call it chitter chat sometimes, but it is observational. And she goes, uh, Yeah, mum, there's a bird in the cage of them. Like, where? So I look up and I'm like, Good God, there's a rather large bird in a very tiny cage. And it really upset me. I was like, Does it live in now, mum? I was like, Hang on, let me have a good look. That was awful. I said, I don't, I don't believe you should keep birds. I don't think they're designed for that. So there we go. So, what did we start talking about then? Oh, I don't know. God, Jazz, you speak now. What's your favourite animal of? Tiger. Tiger. Or a koala. Or a koala, yeah. Both are exceedingly endangered species now, which really upsets Jasmine. It does. We were sat at the last place, yeah, I know, watching something on telly, yeah. And I was like, oh, awful motherfuckers, that's something like that, probably. And uh, I said, yeah, they, they killed them for fur, Jazz. That's why there aren't many of them now. I was like, what? She was horrified, weren't you, Jasmine, when you learnt that, that people for years has, have been, been killing them for trophies, 
wearing their fur. Yeah, there's no need now, no need. But no, some people still find this a desirable thing to do. So I was explaining, you've got Africa to thank for this jazz. He's like, what? I said, well, rich people tend to employ indigenous people to that country to kill an animal such as a tiger. Uh, and then they'll do what to use a process of taxidermy to give it the appearance of being alive yet stuffed and dead but a tiger here you go i'm so rich i've got a whole goddamn tiger in my house it's terrible ain't it but it happens it does yeah so then that led on to i don't know how this happened um why don't we pluck pink well <laughs> use it uh it's about birds, wasn't it again, Jasmine? Why don't we uh, use pigeons as loads of them? <laughs> yeah, go on. <laughs> and they are vermin, so yeah, go on. What did you say? Why don't we use pigeons for pillows? That's it. Why don't people vlog the fucking tradition? Because we hate pigeons. Always telling her off from a young age. Stop chasing the pigeons, please. It's not good. This is not a good. She does. She does do it. She's a group of pigeons. I think she's off. I'll still chase them. I know she was. <laughs> Why? Well, I didn't like it them. <coughs> She's been terrorising pigeons for years. Yeah. So she goes, Why can't people pluck their feathers and use them for a byproduct such as feathers? Cushions. Why? Well, I, don't know. I don't know the answer. I'd have to ask Google. I do not know. And maybe it's because they are considered dirty, vermin, horrible things. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Pe- well, I guess you could clean them. It's a good idea. Let's just slay Let's stop things up. with them. Yeah, that's a good idea. Let's so suggest that. Come on, government, listen up. Uh, <laughs> we're going to say that all the problematic bitches are yeah. gone. <laughs> I don't know, obviously talking about like, what extinct means, the definition of the word, like koala, you know, how it occurs. People have done it, yeah, people have done this, caused extinction, yeah. And she said, what about dinosaurs? I said, no, that's a different matter. So, uh, and it moved on, she piped up after the pigeon comment. Uh, anyway, something along the lines of, oh well... <laughs> <laughs> Something you learn off of YouTube. No. Wait, what did you say to me? Oh, don't matter. We're all going to be in place by robots. And he was like, what? <laughs> what are you watching now? And so I said, where did you learn this? In what contact? And I said, what do you mean? Define robot, please. And she goes, you know, they look a bit like humans. <laughs> and I said, to the best of my knowledge, yeah. A robot in this day and age has got to be programmed by a human. I said, but you're right, Jasmine. Robots have replaced many human jobs. They have. You know, they have. So, they have. They have done. Good, rightly or wrongly, that is just what happens. Computers, a form of rope to some extent, are programmable and have replaced people's jobs. Cannot get through to your bank? Blame a computer. Get, an, get annoyed like I do. No, I don't want holiday insurance. I want to speak to an advisor. What's that? You want to go rave? No! That, that's all, that's, that, your person to talk to is gone. There ain't no one. It's an automated computer system. Um, allegedly, apparently, to make your life as a customer easier. It does it fork. It's to save costs and cut corners. That's why they're there. Um, so I was like, yeah, but... And so I said, I think, really... I said, I don't know, maybe in the future, not in my lifetime. Um, I don't know, perhaps robots would replace people if people, for example, became extinct for whatever reason, which there is a realistic, possibly unlikely, but could happen, yeah, possibility. But I said I would have thought somebody would still have to program somehow. I can't imagine, I don't know. I don't, I don't know enough about cybernetics, I just don't. So, anyway, what did you say then, Jazz? Oh, that's what I said, yeah. I said, uh, anyway, not in my lifetime. And she goes, oh, well, you'll be in the sky, won't you? Be an angel. And I went, yeah, that's right, that's right. 
I'm trying to give reassurance. I said, don't you worry, I'll still be stuffed in that pillow, won't I?